English Pro Get Set Go Level 1 6 and 1 All right, Mahsabin. Mm -hmm. You are a funny girl, right? Uh, yeah, you can say. So, you have a lot of funny stories in your life, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, could you please one of them today with me and the audience? All right. So, this one happened in my online class. Online class? Yeah. All right. It was our English class. English and class. Mm -hmm. Great. And then someone's wallpaper was Doraemon and that, Doraemon. Yeah, and that person was not there. So I don't know who spotted it, but someone spotted that the Doraemon is in our class. Alright. And in the chat box they started saying, Oh my god, wow, Doraemon is in our class. <laughs> Then? Then the whole class started being chaotic in the chat box. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle of that, my friend... Your she, friend? Yeah. What's his name? Well, her name is Angelina. Angelina, wow. A very tough name. Mm -hmm. And then she started saying, I love papayas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No relation with the subject, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she was eating papayas or what. And then another girl started telling, I hate papayas. And the topic changed. And now they both were arguing about papayas. Is it good or bad? <laughs> so the whole class started getting chaotic again. And yeah. All right. That was really, really funny story. <laughs> All right, which school are you from? Well, I'm from Maple Leaf International School. All right, your friends are also very funny like you. Oh. All right. So, welcome everyone with me, Azan, an ESL trainer and also a voice artist at Tessel Bangladesh. And I have Miss... Well, hello everyone. This is me, Mahzabin. All right. And she has another name, which is Labiba. Right? Uh, well, you can call me Mahzabin, Bazan, sir. All right. Uh, that means you can also call her Labiba, right? And also Mahzabin. Okay. So, Achke Amra Digbo, Keep Habe. Amra adjectives use kore shundor shundor story bolte pari. So here uh, on page 22, you can see a story, right? Right. Hmm. So this story is really interesting. Ekhon hoche amra story ta bola shuru korbo and amra dekhbo koto shundor bhabe amra je adjectives gulo etokkhon shikhechhilam shei adjectives gulo amra kibhabe use kori ekta use kore ekta story toiri korte pari right so masamin are you ready for telling the story yes i'm ready all right i'm ready too so let's go story using adjectives once upon a time in a bustling city in Taka, there lived a loving family Zumaya, Yasir and their two daughters Aisha and Nusaiba this family was a shining example of an affectionate and adaptable parenting style always encouraging the daughters to embrace the adventurous spirit. Aisha, the older daughter, was an analytical and ambitious young girl. She was determined to excel in her studies and was often commended by her teacher, Ismail, for her diligence and intelligence. Sumaya and Yasser, being realistic and attentive parents, cheered her on in her pursuits offering their unwavering support. Nusaiba, on the other hand, was a curious and artistic soul, finding inspiration in every corner of their home. She loved to create colourful paintings and whimsical stories. Sumaya, her ever-empathetic mother, always provided the art supplies 
and the quiet space she needed to let her creativity flow. She loved to create colorful paintings and whimsical stories. Sumaya, her ever empathetic mother, always provided the art supplies and the quiet space she needed to let her creativity flow. In the family, each member was both confident and considerate, making the household a heaven of cooperation and respect. They were always courageous in facing challenges and setbacks, never failing to inspire one another to be brave in the face of adversity. The family's home was filled with the warmth of the loving hearts and the close-knit circle of relatives and friends often gathered there. Cousins Labiba and Fabiha brought their own zestful and cheerful energy, making each visit a lively and joyous occasion. Sumaya's friend, Rafika, a compassionate and gentle soul, often dropped by for a cup of tea and shared insightful wisdom with the family, further strengthening their bonds. As the years went by, the girls grew into kind and loving individuals. They embodied the qualities of the parents, Zumaya's kindness and Yasir's wisdom. And their home was a place of endless laughter, adventure and above all, unwavering love. In this household, emotional parenting wasn't just a concept, it was a way of life. The girls thrived under the watchful and caring eyes of their parents, knowing that they were truly fortunate to be part of such a loving and supportive family. Sumaya and Yasir had created a haven where their daughters could grow into independent, confident and compassionate individuals, all while embracing their unique and charming personalities. So that was the end of today's story. Right, did you enjoy this? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Did you? I enjoyed a lot. So it was really a beautiful story and yeah it's great right right all right so here you saw many adjectives um, we used in this story which was really amazing mm -hmm. so thank you everyone for listening us today we'll be back with another story in the future so Till then, bye-bye everyone. Bye-bye.